tender, they love one another. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. That is tender among you and very delicate. His eye shall be evil toward his brother. Right. And toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. I'm coming. Hold on. Right, so there's a curse in the Bible that we're going to hate one another. It says, the eye shall be evil towards his brother. And it says, but see, he'll hate his wife. That, and he'll that's, leave not, his children. that's not saying that. What you're saying is a statement put they, but it's not meant for us to hate one another. That's it's just a people. Curse. Right, but people in their mind. See, look, we envy certain stuff. People as humans are going to envy. It don't matter what you say. They're uh, is envy. it envy against a commandment? They're going to envy against commandment too? Because yeah, that's, that's a commandment. That's, that's that the, not uh, cover the, the Right, but see, they, cause that, that's like me looking at you. You got on gold chains and all that. And I'm going to get a simple person, a simple-minded person going to get mad about it. A cursed mind person, I'm putting y'all. cursed mind person going to get mad about it because he ain't got the same jury. So he will set your target for all But if you're not a materialistic person, then you're not going to get mad about what he's wearing. Wait, if, if you're not nothing. materialistic, what are you doing? If you're not materialistic, what are you doing? What do you mean? I'm paying fees. If you're not materialistic, <laughs> I'm paying fees, bro. If you're not materialistic, you're keeping a commandment. Right. Right. The Lord right. said, what? Right. Thou shalt not covet. Right. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Right. Just ask anything. So right. I'm telling you that that's a curse. Why? Because when you break the commandment, you're under the curse. Yeah, I'm agreeing with you. Can we? Can, can you show them the ships? Sixty-eight. This is this called Jesus. No, no, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's See, it. I know. But hold on, before you go, one thing before you go. Yeah. You I know a lot because uh, play, because play. this is the main. Bro. See, the the Bible is not a religion. The Bible was written to the children of Israel it's and the Most High. Let me tell you, brother. Hold on. Slavery, really. And he said in this chapter that he about this last scripture before you go that the transatlantic slave trade was going to happen to the so-called African American people. Mm -hmm. So that's one way because the Bible is full of prophecies that have come to pass, and a lot of them are still going to come to pass. But read that for me. Before you go, I'm come now. Was there one last one, brother? Come on. Just so you'll know that you're an Israelite, you're not an African American. Deuteronomy. Right, I heard, 28. Heard them. Check it, brother. 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt is slavery. Yep. With ships. You hear that? With By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We weren't going to see our homeland, Jerusalem, which is Israel. We're Israelites. Keep going. Hey, and there ye the shall be I'm sold unto your enemies. Let, let, let him finish that up. Let him, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. Shall ye be sold unto your enemies for you bond that? men. Shall you be sold to your enemies, brother? Yeah. And bond women. For slave men, slave women. And no man shall and buy. And, and nobody's going to redeem us out of this captivity. Go ahead, Ark. You know what it is? That's jail now. All right, brother. You an Israelite, bro. Yeah, you. Hey, YouTube it. Research it, brother. Together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the numbers of the names from 20 years old and upward by their codes. Bro, you gonna give it to him? Oh, oh. Where you going, oh, King? So you got a time? I got time. Your father. That's what you are. So that's that's why I was confused. You saying that you're Ethiopian? We're thinking that you're from the land of Ethiopia. Oh, right. I got I got to see my. I can't be too much. So, so, so according to the Bible, you're so called uh, uh, a Benjamite from the tribe of Benjamin. Are you Yeah. Yeah. So you, you guys chosen so people. According to the Bible, Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they're the chosen people of God. So do you know your nationality? Yeah, the Benjamin. Yeah, it's a lot. Right hey, now. This is uh this is what the white man calls you, this is what God calls you. And so what so what God calls you matters more than what anybody. Right. I appreciate that. Jeremiah 17. Then given that revelation that you have. Where's your Bible at, man? Oh, yeah. You are the one reader, folks. Book of Jeremiah. This for you, brother. This for you right here, brother. Say we ask you your nationality. I thought you were Ethiopian, and then you come to find out your dad's actually Jamaican. Exactly, but it's the reason why our people don't never know our nationality. We are, you ever heard of the Lost Tribes? Lost the Lost Shields? Right. Yeah. That's All you, right. brother. Jeremiah chapter 17, 4. And thou, even thyself, 
shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in a land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which we shall, shall burn, burn forever. forever. So our forefathers, they came over here on the transatlantic slave ship, and once they came over here under the tutelage of the so-called Caucasian, who's our enemy, they right. stripped you of your identity. Right? They took your identity from you and taught you that you were an eagle. What you do with you do with high school or, or, or school and history, the furthest black history goes back is the slavery. They can't and won't tell you where you came from previously before that. Give me Romans uh, 3 and 9. That's one you pulled? That's a spirit. No, 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 no. I had uh, Revelation. I was, I was, that's a spirit. The book of Romans. <laughs> I mean, Revelation 2 and 9. Revelation. The book of Revelation chapter 2. You believe in the Bible? Of course. Hey, what's up, Great answer. Don't. Great answer. Well, <laughs> Revelation 2 verse 9. I know thy works in tribulations and poverty. He said what? I know thy works in tribulation and poverty. So those those people that call them Jews or they call themselves Jewish right now. Number one, if I called you childish, are you a child? No, but you're acting like a child, right? Yeah. So they go around saying I'm Jewish. They're not a Jew, but they're acting like a Jew, right? The Jews, the Israelites, they're under poverty. They have tribulation. So-called Ashkenazi Jews or Israelis, they don't have somebody, they, they're not in poverty. They own the movie industry. Hollywood. They, they own a lot of, uh, they, uh, the Warner Brothers, they own a lot of these, uh, the music industry as well, movie and music. Sports teams. Sports teams. They get reparations from America and Germany, right? Yeah, you got like Drake, like Drake. Right. He, he Jewish. His father is a, a so-called black. No, oh, yeah. His mother is Jew. But no, no. So, so like, I thought it was the other way around. No, his father's black. Sure. Yeah. Well, see, they go by the they go by their mother though. They go though. by the mother. That's right. But I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I thought he was his dad was the um, Jewish record executive. That's how I thought he got on. I mean, I don't I don't follow Drake nah, like that. I, but I, I, I check his his dad is uh, Jake. Okay. Okay. But. The whole thing is they, they don't really have the understanding of the Bible. The Bible and the understanding of the Bible is only for Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Because right. huh. see, we just read to you in a, a scripture that says by the house of your father, but they're going by the house of their mother. That's against God. Keep going. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. They what? They say they are Jews and are not. They say they are Jews and are so not. So what's this right here? The, 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 the native thing of the Latino that you know? All of us went through the same uh, different slave trade. All these people are... Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans went through get back the curses of Deuteronomy. Right. We're going to show you the curses of Deuteronomy, how they fit the natives, the blacks, and Hispanics. Right, keep going. Oh, well, that, that Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. They're the synagogue of Satan. Right? Right. 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 Get that oh. Book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. The ox know of his owner. Right, the ox know of his owner. Beautiful. And, 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 and the ass, his master's crib. And, and the donkey knows where he stays in his master's crib, but what? But Israel do not consider. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they don't consider who they are. Well, I'm black. Uh, are you the color of your shirt? No. 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 So why? Who, who said you were black? The so-called white man that right. came out the ship. So he was going to call himself white. He had to make you black. But we're actually derivative shades of brown. Different shades of brown. Right? Different shades of brown. So of course. My people do not consider. My people do not consider. Yeah, our people don't consider that they're the, the, the best people on the earth. The, most, the, the chosen people of God. If they did, they could probably have a chance of getting themselves out of this curse. Deuteronomy 28. Right? Uh, give me Deuteronomy 28, and I think it's around 30. Where it says 30. Oh, you got to come back to your master. Shalom, King. Shalom. Be safe. Alright? That kind of that kind of shook him. Mm -hmm. That kind of shook him, man. But if it woke him up, we did our job. Call me Asherala. Call me Asherala. 
Yeah, that kind of shook me. You saw he was he just he backed you up like what? The what what, hey, what does that mean? We doing our job then? God loves everybody. The Lord literally don't love nobody else but you. Cause. Right? Give me Amos uh, 3 and 2. And you know where, uh, where it's like, I think it's Isaiah 40, 45, 47, where it says uh, the nations are like uh, the dust and the balance. But bring out that uh, Amos 3 and 2. 3 and 2. Book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 2. Bring it out. You only have I known. He said, what? You only have I known. No, he knows everybody. You only have I known. Keep going. Of all the families of the earth. All the families of the earth. Every family is 18 nations. He said, you only have I known the children of Israel. Keep going. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities, nobody else. Because we got the law, we do right from wrong because we have the law and instead of doing righteousness, we chose evil. That's why in Joshua, the book of Joshua, Joshua said, choose ye this day who you will serve, mm. right? Our people got to choose ye this day before the destruction comes. If they don't get that and, and, and they don't like that, they'd rather serve other gods because they feel like an hour is evil, then that's what they have to deal with. Uh, give me Isaiah 40 and 15. Isaiah 40 and 15. For that, uh, for that Joshua, Joshua 24 and 4. I think that's what it is. For, you, for Isaiah 40 and 15. Y'all people need to wake up. Yeah, right. They worried about the heathen. They worried about uh, worldly stuff. They are worried about their own salvation. They worried about if Esau can make it. Cause. Right? Bring out uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter forty, verse fifteen. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. He said, "Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket." There's the, they're like two grains of sand. They're like two, two drops of spit. That's what they are. They're nothing. Are right, the Most High's not worried about them? Most I was worried about our people, right? Bring it out, right? And are counted as the dust of the balance. You're counted as the dust of the balance. If you put dust or you put little grains of sand on a, a, a weight or a, on a, a scale or a balance, right? You put, if you put a little dust or a sand on a scale, it's not going to register. It's going to be like 0.0, 0, 0, 0 grams. That's what they are. They're nothing to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, keep going. What was that? 17? 20. Uh, 15. Yeah. Drop of a bucket and I'll count it as the, the small dust of the balance. They're counted as the small dust of the balance. Keep going. Behold, he take up the owls as a very little thing. They take up the owls as a very little thing. We see you came back. You gonna come and listen? No. Shalom, shalom. I pray. You can come up. You have any questions? Um, God is good. Oh, God is good. Psalm chapter 19 verse 7 the law of the Lord is perfect converting the soul so the Lord is good everything is he, he made and created is perfect and before and his law right bring that out keep going the testimony of the Lord is sure making wise the simple the testimony of the Lord is sure that means that the Lord says something's going to happen it's going to happen if the Lord says something is the way it is it's the way it is you got a lot of people saying that 
there a, 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 a woman trapped in a man's body. If the Most High made you a man, that's what you are. Surely you're a man. But you don't want to follow and abide by the nature of the law. Right? The law converts your soul. The law is actually love. A lot of talk of, a lot of people talk about how Jesus is love, God is love. First John 5 and 3. God is love. But they don't understand what love is according to God. If you if you're ever in a relationship with a man, you always ask him or you always tell him, this is how you love. This is how I want to be treated. This is how I want to be talked to. This is how I want to be respected. God is the same way. Right it out. The book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments. That this is the way. The love of God, that we keep His commandments. That's the love of God. All you want, but love is an action. Give me a, um, give me John, First John three sixteen. The book of First John chapter three verse sixteen. Love is an action. That's how you check and, 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 and cut the foolishness. People can say they love you, send you all these texts. They can, they can uh, talk real good game, but love is an action, and, and the Lord requires an action from you to show that you love Him. Right, keep going. 16. Hereby perceive we the love of God because he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our life for the brethren. We got to lay down our lives for the love of the world. Right? If you really love God and you really love the most high, you got to give up your life. That's killing the old man. You know what verse that is? Kill the old man? Uh -huh. I'm going to get the simple. Uh, the simple. Wages, uh, that's like, you know, I'll Sin. Oh, trying to get the law. Yeah, I think that's first John. Uh, Salaki. <laughs> uh, Salaki. First John two and three. To go to piggyback off of what you just had. Yeah. First John two and three. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Continue. Read on. He that say I know him and keep of not his commandments is a liar. And the truth is not in him. Salakia, so go back to 3 and 16 again. You see that? So you got to get the understanding. All right, 3 and 16. Hereby perceive we the love of God because he laid down his life for us. So this is how he perceived the love of God. The Lord laid down his life for us. That's an action. You want a man like that. That's, if the sun comes down, if shots fly, he's going to cover you with his body. That's right. You want a man like that. You don't want a man or, or a sucker that's going to run and leave you by yourself uh, defenseless. You want somebody that's going to stand up and, and, and literally give his life. Right? But you got to show the same love. Right? Right now. Try give me Romans 6 and 6. Right? So it says that you got to lay down your life as well. You don't have to lose the heart, but you have to start doing Because our women are beautiful. They're, they're beautiful and they're smart. How you doing, sis? Shalom, shalom. Bring that out. We was just, we just talking to the sister saying that there's certain things you have to do if you love the Lord. You don't have to literally kill yourself. <laughs> But you got to kill certain things that you did or certain aspects about yourself if you really love the Lord, right? So to love the Lord, you got to keep a commandment. Whatever the Lord says, you have to do it because he's your father. He's your spiritual father. You're not going to disrespect your parents, right? And if the Lord is your, 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 your heavenly father, you will listen to him. Right? We're out here to let the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans know they're the chosen people of God. That's right. If you see yourself on that sign, then you're from the nation of Israel. You gotta the keep the commandment. People of God, the people that God loves. Right? Bring that out. Huh? This is Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So it says, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So when you see a, a female in a male bathroom, how can you tell that you go to the woman's back? The sign, like, well, what's on the sign? It'll be the pants. It'll be the pants. See, the pants is for the man. 
no, and a dress is for the woman. That's a new thing. That's a new thing that I want to dress. It, it's a new thing that I want to have. It started in what the, the 60s, 60s, and the 70s. Right. All you have to do is go. That's that's what like like 40 years ago. Right. 40, 50 years ago. That's new. That's new. I remember was. I remember uh, there a brother. This brother showed me a, a, a picture. I remember we're in the cotton field with a dress on. But they understood better than we do now. He sold you, right? So bring that out. Keep going on that. Neither, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall our men put on a woman's garment. We got men walking around with dresses. Tyler Perry. <laughs> Tyler Perry. Uh, who else? Martin. Big Kevin Mama. Hart, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Hart. Uh, with, with a dress. Jamie Foxx. They're, they're pushing that. Right, give me that in Leviticus. A man should not uh, lie with mankind. Because they're pushing around with sexual reality. This place is like Sodom and Gomorrah. Thank you. You know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah, right? Is that it? I got destroyed. So, Obama, 18, 22. you know, the so-called black group set this place up for destruction. Like, I gotta go, y'all, but thank you for the word. You Israelite, sis. You gotta keep the commandments. Bring your head out. We gotta build them up. And you say you can't anything these eaves can't do. As soon as you brought that scripture out. Hey, we don't care. Hey, 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 we don't care, brother. We gotta tell them. Right, but not like we gotta build to that. You can't get it. And we do. We showing black Hispanics and Native Americans they the chosen people of God. Right! That's what right. they need to do to build up their community and prepare for the calamity that's going to come upon the nation. Right? So, as, as the so-called black woman, they have a position in the world of play, just like our men. But, instead of playing it according to how God wants us to, we want to do what we want to do. And because we want to do what we want to do, our community is shambles, right? right? According to God, we're not going to have all this foolish things going on in the community. We're supposed to keep the commandments of God. Give me, the, uh, give me Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Man. That's right. Our whole so because you're, you're so called black, the white man can't tell you what you were before you came over here on the ship. What were you before you came on the ship? They just said, we see you, you're black. <laughs> right? So who you are before you came on the ship, before they called you black, colored, Negro, you are actually a, a, a Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's right. The Jews were so-called black people, right? Give me a half I'm going to show you. Wait, just one scripture, one scripture. Y'all Israelite sister, you got to keep the commandments. No, no, no. She had a question. She had a question. She was asking black Hispanics and Native Americans, they the chosen people of God. That's right, brother. Don't you know you're not supposed to be buying or selling today? Oh, he don't care. Hey, that judgment shall come forth. Hey, mark them up today, y'all. Mark them up today. This is Daniel chapter 9, verse 11. Yeah, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing. That they might not obey thy voice. You see that in a part. Hey, hey brother, you want to hear the Bible real quick? You want to talk about the Bible real quick? You want, you want to talk about how Donald Trump the devil? I don't want to talk about that. Damn. 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 Oh, well, <laughs> going to they that right. swack it. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. See, they the, they the part because they don't want to be over that's what happens. Once we pull out a scripture that they don't want to keep, what they do, they depart. So you can't keep it. Right, keep going. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of Yahweh. So it's an oath that's written in the law of Moses, the servant of Yahweh, these curses. That's how you know that Deuteronomy 28, the chapter, was still on uh, Daniel. That's why Daniel went to Babylon. He's in Babylonia. Right? He's in Babylonia. The white man is the devil. Yeah, right. The white woman too. Yeah, right. Why you feel so safe coming here? Why are you in the hood? You about to buy some drugs, some opioids? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 
13, for my people have committed two evils. They committed two evils, right? They have forsaken me, the fountains of living waters. Don't you know the black, Hispanic, and Native American, they committed two evils against God? Right, keep going. And him down, and you them out cisterns, broken cisterns, that can hold no water. They hewed out broken cisterns that can hold no water because what? The Most High himself is the ever-living water. Instead of going to the Most High and what? The laws which convert your spirit, we want to go and do what we want to do. Just like that brother that came up. I believe there's 12 different names for the Lord and I believe in every religion. Right. The foolishness of our people. Right. If they don't want to hear, he got the star on his arm. That's your name. Six point. Yeah, I think that might be GD though. You're more. You're more. 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 Yeah, I'll ask you more. Oh, no, 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 man. I don't know. No, I'm not. No, no, I'm not. 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 i am not i am Islam is Islam is, is Baptist is Christian is well I believe you know, the whole is, non denomination is like people don't believe in shit no, no I, I more believe nowadays, the whole you know if, if it's in this book I believe but you gotta read it and understand for yourself that's your belief what you well, understand uh, you, right here my nigga is, uh, I'll be right back bro I gotta, I gotta make a move but what you understand <laughs> right here this, this was you gotta keep the laws brother y'all Israelites Elon he want to Ishmael. Ishmael. He said he studied like the the Quran. I had a feeling he was like a boy. She the spirit out here today. Everybody stopping by. What y'all doing? What y'all doing? Yeah, what y'all doing? That, that's weird. That's like the third got, person. Uh, that's like the uh, third or fourth person. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter thirty four and sixteen. Seek out of the book. Well, seek ye out of the book, book of the Lord and, and read. read. Going. No one of these shall None fail. None of these shall fail. Right. If we just read this book, we wouldn't be failing like we fell. Come. A lot of people they, they taking L's. The black community is taking a lot of L's. Come. Why? Because what? You don't want to listen to God. You, you, we L'd out. Are, are y'all tired of taking L's? We've been taking L's for over 400 years. Are y'all tired of taking L's? I'm tired of taking L's, man. No. I'm ready to be on top. I'm ready for that W, but y'all taking L's. Right, keep going. None of y'all work our face. So my mouth has, it has commanded us. Even our women are not going to want us because the mouth of the Lord commanded us, right? Bring that out. Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed he that readeth. Blessed he that what? That read it. Read that what? That yeah, read it. Listen, he that read of the black, Hispanic, and Native American will say, this is a white man's book. Right. Open the book and read me a scripture where it says it's a white man's book. Prove to me in this book that it is. It says, blessed he that read of, if, if the Bible is a fake book, it's a false book, come up here and prove to me that it is. Y'all say you read the Bible backwards and forth, but I pull a scripture. I never seen that scripture before. You want to know why? You don't keep the law, statutes, commandments, real life. That's you, right. You don't really read the Bible because if you read the Bible, you would know it's not a white man's book. The lady on the chain, they back. They coming? They back. Give me a. You got on the chain? Oh, that's just wicked. You got off the chain. Come listen to the Bible, brother. I see you with the cross on, brother. Yeah, Come listen to the Bible, bro. You know your nationality? Yes, you know. Where you from, man? I'm from North Georgia. Come. Man, you believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? Okay. What, what things do you, uh, what have you learned about the Bible? 
learned that you get it in all types of words. You get it how it is. Sister, you know you're a princess, you. sister. And the words that come to you. God's holy I people. I read. Shouldn't be a good one, though. Like, if you were to read it in the beginning, in the beginning of the Bible. Yeah, that's yeah, that's when right. I break that down. You're supposed to, you're supposed to read from the beginning. You don't yeah, start at the end. That's right. It's, it's the beginning. It's the beginning. It's the beginning. So, so let me, let me, uh, give me uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. A man who doesn't work doesn't eat. That's right. That's true. That's true. A man that doesn't work that's right, doesn't bro. eat. And in Proverbs, Proverbs also says, if a man's hands is not diligent, he maketh himself poor. Right. right, right. You can make yourself poor because you're not diligent, and you can lose the Lord because you're not diligent in seeking Him. Right. right. I mean, as you can see that in a black community, the black, Hispanic, and Native American community, we don't really seek the Lord like we should. Right. Uh, your your pastor should, if he, if your pastor really believed that Christ is coming back, he should be out here trying to teach people and wake them up and coming out of the Bible and show them when they're wrong so they can correct. Because when the Lord comes back. He's not going to come back on, on, on a unicorn and, and hugging everybody. He's coming back to deliver judgment. But I'm going to show you what's in the beginning, and I'm going to show you why in the beginning of the book and the end of the book is the same. All right? Give me Deuteronomy 27 uh, and uh, 6. This is Deuteronomy chapter 7 and 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special, special people, people unto himself. So, Above all, all people, people that are upon the face of the earth. So it says, he chose a certain people, which is the children of Israel, to be a special people on the face of the earth, which blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are, according to the Bible. Right, keep going. Verse 8. But, now, nah, so like verse 7. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number. Now, the Lord didn't.